Well, if you've had to do it, you know, burying a loved one is very, very hard. It is very emotional. So having the arrangements designed as easily as possible is ideal in an unideal situation. When a dried woman was met with confusion at the cemetery where she thought she'd be burying her mother, she called two ones to know. Tucked behind these steel fences, surrounded by giant trees, is the Floral Garden Park Cemetery, a final resting place for thousands of loved ones. She just got to the point she was really confused, so um, we took her to the hospital, and that's when they found out she had two brain tumors. Michelle Harris's mom passed away last October. A plot picked, a headstone purchased. She said she could have either or the upright or the flat. So we went and we bought the upright, like 20, almost $2,300. The older section of the cemetery allows both flat and standing headstones. The guy from Smith Monuments called me and he said, your mom's headstone's here. We're ready to lay it on Wednesday. This was on Monday. On the day the headstone was set to be installed, there was a problem. The cemetery director calling Michelle. He said, but she's in the plot that it's only for flat, and I said, well, two, shouldn't two employees know that? While this section of the cemetery does allow both types of markers, it's staggered, and Michelle's mom was in a plot already next to a stand-up headstone. He never apologized. He never said he was sorry for his employees' mistakes. Um, he just said, you know, if they want to come in and lay it flat, I'm fine with that. Michelle reaching out to us, we spoke with the director and a representative in the corporate office. After you called them, they immediately called me, or corporate immediately called me, to see what they could do to make things right. One option was to move Michelle's mother to another location. In the end, the cemetery and Michelle agreed to keep her mother where she was, and the cemetery would pay for half of the headstone. Well, I appreciate all of your help. It, like I said, if it hadn't been for you contacting them, they would have never even acknowledged the fact. It would have just been laying there. The company that runs the cemetery issuing this statement. We are glad we were able to work this out and help the family with this difficult situation. We understand that this was a trying time, and we're happy that this family can finally have some peace. While this certainly isn't how Michelle planned it, Betty Morgan Harris will forever be remembered as a loving mother. Kevin Kennedy, Two Wants to Know.